Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in the last video, we created these th the, these um, properties, and as you can see, we went till icon, and now we're gonna continue with the others. Um, it's gonna be a little bit longer than usual, so let's go ahead and just do it. All right, so I'm gonna select the pr primary button here. I'm gonna add another variant and call it state, and the, the value is gonna be default. Yep. And um, I'm gonna create the, actually the, the hover, focus, active, and disabled. So I'm just gonna duplicate this five times. So as you can see, one, actually four times. Now I'm not gonna select that one. Again, after like, uh, since uh, we have less time, let's um, just create everything first, then we can style them. All right, the last one is gonna be disabled. This one is gonna be um, active. This is the forecast, and this is hover. And before I uh, do anything, I'm gonna let you know that I actually edited the variables just a little bit. So I added uh, another border color for the primary. So we had default light, default, default dark, and now we have default subtle too as well as for the text, text and icon. So we had the link label, now we have link light and link light, link dark. And also I modified it for all of the styles. So if you want to do so, you can, if you don't want to, you can like just use the same that we uh, learned on the, um, on the couple of videos back on how to create the color tokens. But yeah, um, that's the beauty of the variables. You can create anything while designing, while creating the design system and not worrying about anything you know, any manual work. So yeah, let's go ahead and style these. I'm gonna select the hover one. Actually, I'm gonna go with the lighter color. It's gonna be default light, yep. And for the press, I mean, for the focus, we're gonna add a stroke. Let's go ahead and find our border. And again, I'm gonna select the one that I already created. Um, like, um, this, is, this is the new one, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tap on default subtle. It's gonna be outside and the stroke, let's bump up that stroke. I think six is okay, yep. Now let's go ahead and edit the pressed one. It's gonna be default dark. And the last one is the disabled. I'm gonna hit four on the keyboard to give it a 40% of opacity. I'm gonna, or, or I can change it here. All right. Now we have created our state and let's go ahead with the pill. So again, I'm gonna uh, select all the components here. I'm gonna add another vari variant called pill. And the default value is gonna be false. And now I'm gonna select all of these to include the pill for all of these. So I'm gonna uh, hit, actually hold Alt or Option and drag them to the right a little bit, all right? And I'm gonna set the value for the pill to true. And next, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead in the corner radius and select one of the uh, variables that I created. So it's gonna be pill. Also, I put the playlist down in the description so you can see and you know follow the series. All right, now we have created the pill. Next is outline. Again, create another variant, call it outline and the default value is gonna be false. And select all of these, duplicate them like this, and the value is gonna be true. And now to change this to the outline, uh, we need to do the smart, so we don't do any like manual work by selecting um, all of them. I mean, selecting them one, one by one. So let's go ahead and see uh, the selection colors. First of all, I need to change the text I, text color to uh, actually the primary color. So I'm gonna select the text color here, go to the primary space text, and I'm gonna select the link label. All right. Now I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna find all the surface color and remove them. So again, let's zoom out a little bit. So I'm gonna find this one, remove them, select and find the other surface colors and remove them. Sorry. 
it's going to be surface here remove and for these ones going to be again surface here and remove all right let's go ahead and add our outline basically so for the default one and disabled one since they're the same color i'm going to choose one color it's going to be border which is a primary border actually so let's go ahead with the default all right actually for the pressed one or for the active one i'm going to change the text color to something a little bit darker here and for the hover i'm going to do the same so we follow this the same style actually it's going to be light sorry all right let's select the outline for this one it's going to be border primary it's going to be light and for this one again it's going to be border and it's going to be dark all right and uh, th this doesn't need any because we already have an outline here so yeah all right now that we have created um, all of these up to outline we can go ahead and create the sizes so let's go and zoom out a little bit select all of these and actually drag them to the middle so we can create actually you, you can see that we have excess um, medium right? lg and x large so yeah it's um it's a good practice to move it to the center since it's, it's medium and let's go ahead and duplicate it here um we forgot to create the variant but that's okay i'm gonna create it right now i'm gonna say size the default is gonna be md but this one is gonna be sm also i'm gonna move it a little bit here so we can have more space here um, all right, let's go ahead and change the paddings here. But as you can see, the, the here it says mixed. That's because uh, these are different in um, in left and right. So I'm just gonna select the buttons with text and change the paddings, and it's gonna be 12 from top and bottom and 20 from left and right. Yep. Also, I'm gonna change the padding for this one too, this one too, so it's going to be 12 and this is going to be 12 too since it's a square all right now we have created our small one and let's go ahead and create the extra small one for the extra small one actually I'm gonna decrease the font size and the icon size a little bit but not touch the you know I'm not gonna touch the size of the icons of these one because that's already too small and yeah uh, i just want the icon here to, to to be matched with the text size so let's go ahead and select all the buttons that have text right and then what i'm going to do is just hit enter uh, or return on my keyboard and then you can see that it selects all of the uh, elements inside and this shows that it, it the the size is link 20 i'm going to reduce it to link 12 and then what i'm going to do is select all of these ones and reduce its size a little bit so all right i'm going to use figma's um, find feature i'm going to hit command or control f the name of this is profile so it's already selected you can see that if i find profile it's going to be here and I'm going to zoom out a little bit so I can see which ones are highlighted. I'm going to scroll down to find the last one. So, yep, yep. All right. And you can see that this is the last one here on the keyboard. Actually, on the, on the screen is highlighted. And if I hold shift on the keyboard with the first one selected, and this is going to be the last one, and tap on it. Now, all of these are, are selected, but I, I don't want to change the size of these. So I'm going to again hold shift, drag, and remove these ones out of selection. All right. And I'm going to change the size of these icons that include text is going to be 20 by 20. Yep. That looks a lot better. All right. I'm going to move this one to the top a little bit. Let's go ahead and create the large and x large because the video is getting too long. 
for the part two. So it's going to be large. And here, I'm not going to, again, I'm not going to change the text uh, font size. Or I might need to do that. So let, let's go ahead and see how it goes. And here, yeah, let's close this. Select the buttons with the text. And now let's change the spacing to something like um, 20 from top and bottom and maybe 32 from left and right. Yep. That's okay. I need to, you know, I might need to align it. Um, the ones that, you know, had, we need to align this a little bit. So I'm going to just add like 60 and change this because yeah, it's uh, the spacing because of the auto, because of the auto gap, which is the, our justified icon. They're a little bit messed up. Yep, that, there you go. It's fixed. I'm just gonna give this more spacing. Don't worry about that. Um, I I will um, I will align this all together once I'm done with all the variables. Um, all right, that's okay for now. And yeah, the sizing everything looks okay. Let's go ahead and create the X large. It's gonna be X large. Actually here, I'm gonna change the font size to the biggest one. Not the biggest one, but uh, big enough. So it's gonna be 16 maybe. Or oh, that's too small, let's go with 18. Actually for this this one, we could have gone with 16, but that's okay. Um, we might need to increase the um, font, I mean the icon size a little bit. So what I'm gonna do just hit again find profile and find the first one here where is it where is it All right, this is the first one. Let's go ahead and find the last one. And it's going to be here. Again, I'm going to increase the font size to something like 32. I mean, the icon size 32 is OK. And yeah, actually, let's change the border radius to here. It's going to be 16. Or 20 maybe that's too round yeah 16 is enough I'm gonna do the same for this one too so I'm gonna go with this and change to 16 actually I missed these ones all right now we have uh, created all of our buttons and I'm gonna create the others that organizes a little bit and add actually the secondary button and other buttons that we need that uh, we actually might need. All right, um, I'll see you in a sec. All right, now that I finished on creating all the buttons, you can see that we have four types of buttons here. The first one is the primary, which we created together. The next one, I created the secondary button, which has a very subtle background. I use the same color, actually, if you select this one, we can see that there is no custom color here. They're all in the variables in color tokens. The next one is the clear button, which there is no background for it. You might need to use, uh, use, use this in the design in future. And the last one is the error, basically. And I don't think you need more um, these days because it, the error where you need to have multiple colors for a, for a button is kind of over. And I don't see like any apps use that. But yeah, also. Actually, there are some edge cases that you might need to have a different color for your button, but you can then create it just like this. You, you can just duplicate. But for this design system, I'm going to go with these ones. And yeah, let's go ahead and try them actually. So let's hit um, Shift I and search for primary. 
and this is the primary weather and drag it here all right let's zoom in a little bit if you want a button like this you can do it you can like increase the size and let's go in the variance and let's change the icon to left I actually add an icon to left and let's change the change this one to icon justified left justified and you can see and it's all automatically created and if I change it again um, so that is the beauty of the variance when you are creating a design system and that's it and for the state let's go with hover not icon only let's go with justified maybe hover forecast active disabled and maybe pill yep outline yep size can be this is the XL let's go with large medium XS and XL and you can change the icon from here let's go with I don't know maybe home um, anything actually let's I don't want to choose maybe like this key yep it automatically updated and change this one to continue yep now you can see that we have a rich um, design system for our button that we can like easily change it from here actually let's align these ones so I'm gonna go let's do this one I'm gonna select all of these um, maybe this one yeah and go inside the sizes and yeah align this one so medium is going to be the center one S m is going to small large is going to be after medium and xs is going to be for us all right that's it for the video and make sure to uh, like this video leave, leave a comment please and subscribe that'd be a huge help and yeah let's follow let's continue series uh I'm gonna the next video is about how you can create actually the inputs and add them to your design system um, thank you for watching I'll see you in the next video cheers